Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Atawagwe and today I am going to show you how I made the exaggerated sleeves that I am wearing. This is going to be a simple and easy to follow tutorial and by the time you're done watching it, not only are you going to know exactly how to make the sleeves I'm wearing, but also how to make any exaggerated sleeves in any um, kind of outfit. So definitely keep on watching. This is my basic sleeve pattern. What I am going to use is the slash and spread technique, which is basically a technique in which you cut open your pattern and you spread it in order to create fullness in your pattern. I'm going to be using this technique to create fullness in this pattern and to enlarge my original basic pattern. So I'm going to start by dividing this pattern into four equal parts on either side of the pattern. This is going to be the basis on which I cut open my pattern. Yours could be three different parts, it could be two or it could be eight. As long as you know exactly how much fullness you want to create and how you intend to achieve it. So in my case, this is four and I'm just going to um, join the dots I created, the points together with a ruler to create a straight line on each side of the um, basic sleeve pattern. So that's what I'm doing right now. So next up, I'm going to cut open this pattern on the lines that I drew. As you can see, I already just created fullness and the extent of fullness that you want determines how much you cut and where you cut. I, I actually intend to cut all the way through, but I did not want to lose my pieces. So I decided to just cut towards the end. And then when I transfer to my main pattern, I'm going to just cut the rest open. But you can see that this slashing creates room to expand your sleeve, to expand your pattern and make it as big as you want it to be. And I just arranged mine. I just put them together. I'm sorry, I just put them apart. And you can see I created space. You can create more space, more volume uh, by increasing the amount of space between your pieces. Or you can create less volume by reducing the amount of space between your pieces. I'm going to get closer so that you can see exactly how much space I put in mine in case you want to do the exact same design as I did. But this is what you do in order to um, enlarge your pattern. Sometimes it's a skirt, you know, that you're creating fullness on. Sometimes it's a pair of pants. Uh, sometimes it's a blouse. As long as you know where you want fullness, you can just go right in and slash open your pattern and spread it and create fullness in that area. So this is it. Another thing you want to ensure is that you are creating equal fullness on either side of the pattern. I hope you know that either side here represents front and back. So you want to create equal fullness. Um, I didn't bother labeling the other side because um, it's pretty much the same as what I have on the right side. So I'm going to um, just go in and um, cut my fabric as you can see I have placed it on my fabric and I intend to just go right in with my scissors and cut through yep. don't forget to add your seam allowance to what you're trying to do this looks a lot like a fan the larger part where I'm cutting right now the wider part goes into the armhole and the smaller part remains at the elbow. So I already cut my pattern and I already joined at the side seam. As you can see, as earlier stated, the small part goes to the elbow and the large part goes 
into the armhole. What I'm going to do right about now is to pleat the larger part into my armhole, into my armhole and onto my bodice. Now, you could also create gathers, but I wanted something that would be a little structured. I wanted some structure to my fullness, and so I decided and settled for kiss pleats. Now, in doing my kiss splits, I was undecided as to whether I wanted them to kiss on the outside at my shoulder or I wanted them to kiss on the inside. So what I did was that I pinned either sleeve differently. And by the way, if you're seeing whitish deposits on my sleeve it is because i had attached an interfacing but it turned out to be so hard and so dramatic that i had to let it go you may be able to see that the other side has this super hard looking um, structure to it yeah that one still has the interfacing anyway back to what i was saying so i decided to pleat each sleeve differently one kissed on the outside at the shoulder and the other kissed on the inside at the shoulder. My goal was to ensure that I was picking the best one for me. Um, so I pinned them so efficiently that they stood in place and I could try them on. So here is it. When they kissed on the inside, they look like this. And when they kissed on the outside, they look like this. So I decided to settle for the kissing on the outside. I thought it looked more dramatic. Okay, so now I'm just joining my sleeve with the sewing machine, this time to my bodice. Do not forget to remove your pins as you go. You do not want your needle striking your pin. It is not a pleasant um, effect it could ruin your needle and it could harm your eyes optional but i also joined a cuff to my sleeve and that's what i'm sewing here it has a little bit of rubber inside of it i hope that you have enjoyed this video and learned from it if you have please subscribe to my channel and engage with my videos by liking and commenting in the comment section. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.